Moron Scratch 3.0 By the end of this session, you will learn Programming in Scratch Uses of the Scratch program And, how to work with two sprites Quick recap The sprite is a graphical character that performs the step center into the Scratch program the cat is the default sprite character. You can choose your own sprite character. All the work done is displayed on the stage. Code, costumes, and sound are the three tabs on Scratch. The blocks menu contains different groups like motion, looks, sound, and control. These groups contain various tools and commands to perform programming functions. All the blocks have to be dragged from the blocks palette to the script area. Uses of Scratch Scratch serves as the perfect introduction to programming languages. Instead of typing codes, users can simply lift blocks and put them in the script. It is very easy to understand and can be downloaded for free from scratch.mit.edu. Scratch will help students who are interested in programming languages. Through its easy GUI, students can easily understand the nuances of programming. There is a lot of experimenting that the students can do o Scratch. From animation to games to projects, there's a lot available on Scratch. Sprite Sprite is the animated creature that performs all the actions on the stage area. For the sprite to perform functions, you need to enter blocks in the script area. You drag blocks from the block palette and drop them in the code. When you click on the group of blocks, sprite performs the actions mentioned in the blocks. The cat is the default sprite character. You have many options from which you can choose your own sprite. Consumes tab there are two inbuilt costumes Costume 1 and Costume 2 of the Sprite Cat. Select any of them with a single click and return to the Code tab. Under the Costumes tab, there are costumes for the Sprite available. Choose from Library. When you click on this, a Costume Library window pops up. There you can scroll through the options and select your favorite sprite. Paint When you click on this, the paint feature open up. Now you can draw your own sprite character. Upload sprite Here you can select any picture from the computer storage, and upload it on scratch to make it your sprite character. Let's change the sprite from cat to dinosaur. From the costume library, select animals in the category. Now scroll through the list and select any dinosaur. If you want to resize the size of the sprite, click the size option and change the value. In sprite costumes list, you can see all the sprite characters that you have selected or drawn. Stage icon. Above the choose a backdrop, we have the stage icon. When we click on it, details of the backdrop appears. The backdrop tab opens. And all the backdrop appear on the screen. We can import any backdrop by clicking on it. Sprite info. Below the stage, there is a section where all the used sprites are visible. The sprite info pane will also appear in the same region. Every point on the stage is represented in the form of X and Y. The X and Y coordinates show the position of the sprite on the stage in the form of graph numbers. Direction Here we determine which way the sprite will face. Mention the degree of angle to set the direction. 0 degrees equals up, 90 degrees equals right, 
180 degrees equals down, minus 90 degrees equals left. By default the sprite is always right facing which means the direction is present as, 90 degrees. How does the sprite speaks? You can make the sprite speak the words, that will appear in a bubble on the screen. Here we are not talking about sounds. We are talking about words which you can see on the stage written inside bubbles. Click on the looks group from the blocks menu. Drag the say block to the script area. Click on it. You can see the sprite saying hello. Now from the motions group, drag move and turn above the say block. Click multiple times on the script. The sprite along with the text hello, will move in a circle. The move block will move the sprite by 10 steps. And the turn block will rotate the sprite by 15 degrees. How to straighten the sprite? Now we need to straighten the sprite back to its original position. Go to the area below the stage. See the direction part in the sprite info pane? Due to the rotation, the direction has been set at 165 degrees. Mention 90 in the space, to straighten the sprite. How to delete the script? If you want to delete the entire script at the same time, drag the top block of the script back to the block palette. You will find that the entire script gets dragged. Yes that's right. When you drag the top block, the entire script is dragged along with it. But if you drag the bottom block, the rest will stay where they are. You can also right click on the block and click on delete block. How to work with two sprites? Now, let's work with multiple sprites at the same time. Select the cat sprite and delete it. Go to choose a sprite and select a sprite from library. Select a sprite that looks like a teacher. Select Avery. Now, again go to choose a sprite. And select a sprite from library. Select a sprite that looks like a dancer. Select Champ 99 to get it on stage. Below the stage, there are two thumbnails of both sprites. Here you can see that the Avery sprite is selected. This means that the script that you will now write will be for Avery sprite. If you want to write for Champ 99, select its thumbnail and then drag the blocks. Let's do a quick role play. This scene is about a small conversation between a teacher and a student. Observe the video carefully and see the blocks used in each sprite.